Hey, what's going on? So in this match, um, it's this ZU team I made around uh, Rotom Fan. I might have used this on the, my channel already. But anyways, this is the final match of a ZU tour. And um, this guy completed completely scouted me, so I said that in the chat. But anyways, I lead off with Probo. He leads off with Crystal. Now, I normally get up the rocks, but I set up our... I, I just went for Flash Cannon. Um... Just in case he went for a shell smash, or just not to be passive right here. And anyways, he's the only one weak to rocks, so I really wasn't prioritizing rocks, so I just wanted to kill the Crustle. And so I get it below half, and now I'm going to get up rocks because I know he's going to switch out. And so I predicted him to... I have um, Rotom Fan and Tangela. I think you know where this is going. I predicted him not to go for the Earthquake or the Fighting move, but um, he went for the Earthquake and cleanly KOs me. Now I'm thinking... Okay, I gotta go into Monferno. Monferno is firefighting. And I'm gonna go for the close combat. And so he's gonna go into Tangela, which can take it easily, or Mr. Mime. But I could also go for Flare Blitz, which would probably Oko this guy anyways. And it'll Oko one of these guys. Or maybe not the Tangela, but two it KO it. So that's what my idea was to go in Monferno. I probably decided Flare Blitz somewhere in the middle of the turn, but I decided to click it. And so we pretty much traded Probo for Mr. Mime. And uh, Probo pretty much countered Mr. Mime, so that's all I really needed it for. Um, rocks, I guess, are important. But he switches in uh, Float Zelda to counter me. I go into Silly to counter him. I could have gone for T-Bolt. But I predicted him to switch out, so um, I just U-turned, and I know he's physical with Waterfall, so I just go into Tangela. Uh, I'm going to Toxic anything, but unfortunately he uh, goes into Komala, and now that I'm thinking about Komala, is pretty much a counter to Tangela. They're kind of like counters to each other, but I think Komala um, kind of wins the matchup. I don't know. Might not. Maybe Tangela wins. But anyways, um, I didn't expect him to U-turn because I hadn't seen it yet, but... So uh, I ended up being in Rotom. He predicted me to go to uh, Doug Trio, but I just stayed in will -Wisp. So it worked out pretty well for me. I could have gone for the Bolt Switch right here, but I just went for the Pain Split because everything other than, other than Kressel got, uh had more HP than me. And he actually has the Iapa Berry. I get him down to 6%. Luckily, he doesn't Stone Edge. Now I'm going to Bolt Switch. I know he's not going into E-Buyer, so I just wanted to Bolt Switch out of there. Into Doug Trio, predicting the Stone Edge. He actually goes for Rock Blast. It misses, but I kind of wish it hit because Quad Resist, I know that wouldn't have done much. I was predicting him to go to Tangela. I'm like, okay, he's definitely going to Tangela. But no, it looks like he's just going to give me a Crustle, so unless he's going to play Mind Games and go this time. I don't think he wanted me to have the sub up. So, um, yeah, I could have, I should have gone for the sub right here, but I didn't. I hard switched into Tangela, and this man predicts that and goes for the Sludge Bomb, and I think that is Specs. I didn't realize it until after Tangela was dead, but... Um, that definitely is potentially specs. Actually, I think that is specs from 79% from a non-stab to uh, Tangela. Tangela's not that specially bulky. Anyways, let's get on with this. So now I switched into Doug Trio, predicting the Thunderbolt because I didn't do it last time. And I thought he was scarfed for some reason or something like that. I just thought he was going to switch out, you know, just always trying this sub. But he really doesn't care as long as he just gets a clean switch into Tangela, it seems like. I don't really understand that. Because, oh, actually, he wanted it into Float Cell, so that kind of makes sense. But I have the Silvoli, and I take this Waterfall really well, but now it comes down to, I went to the Thunderbolt this time because he didn't, I thought he would just stay in, predicting me to U-turn, so I needed to defog right here. So, luckily, he went for the Sucker Punch, so I'm just going to safely switch out to Rotom. He goes for U-turn. I win the matchup versus both of these. I was scared of the Ice Punch, but he shows me Ice Beam. I'm like, yes, I take it. But no, I got frozen. I clicked Volt Switch right there, and oh my goodness. So the freeze just, like, made this a game. Before that, I pretty much had it won if I got that Volt Switch off right there into Monferno. Yeah, anyways, I got the U-turn right there off to Monferno, so it kind of paid off. And I actually went for the U-turn. I thought that was going to kill. Oh my god, so it actually sucks so bad, and I'm just going for the substitute game again. And uh, I don't know if he kills me or not. I don't think he does. He just goes to Tangela. And I do get the sub up. So now I'm just going to Iron Head. I mean, I don't really remember this part too well. He, I actually go straight to Monferno. Why did I go straight to Monferno? I don't really know why I went straight to Monferno. But that's what happened. And uh, now I go into... Or I'm going to U-turn out into the uh, Silverly Water. Because I can fodder my, um, my moles. And then I can go into Monferno and get this. I spent so long right here. Once I switched into Monferno, I like spent so long. Because he's Specs. 
So I calc'd it, close combat's not going to kill. I was like, am I going to U-turn now? What am I going to do? But obviously it came down to, I had to um, flare blitz. That's what I had to do. So I click flare blitz, and uh, notice this fluid cell is at 63%. I have this calc ready. Let's do it. So, uh, yeah, that's it, it has more of a chance to take the fluid cell out from 53% with the flare blitz. So that's why I clicked. He stayed in. And, uh, yeah, so now um, it's pretty straightforward. He's obviously going to kill my friend. I'm not going to switch out and try to mock punch. That won't kill him. But I'm in Silverly. He used Focus Blast. Doesn't kill because he's mixed. And uh, I Thunderbolt. I don't know if that would have made a difference if he wasn't mixed, but that was in incredibly close i'm glad i got the defog off there and so i was able to keep the silverly alive luckily because of his plays with komala and i mean all that just boiled down to a very close game i think it was played well by both players and we both had like very good predictions and very uh i think we we both had reasonable slips anyways i hope you enjoyed that goodbye